my name is Tamsin and today I'm going to show you how to make damson jam. All you need are three ingredients. First, the damsons. These have been picked today. As you can see, they've still got their stalks on at the moment. We're going to wash those in a minute and take off the leaves and the stalks. Next, granulated sugar. And the last ingredient is water. For my recipe, you will need three pounds of damsons, two and a quarter pounds of granulated sugar, and three quarters of a pint of cold water. Now, we'll go on to the next stage. Just a quick rinse, pull off the stalks, and they're ready to go. Okay, I'll quickly tell you about the jars. As you can see, I have got a variety of jars here that I've collected. It doesn't have to be anything special. They uh, have been washed in hot soapy water and rinsed. The amount of jam that I'm making will make five pounds of jam which is about five big jars. But you can have a variety of small ones, whatever you like. Once you've washed and rinsed them thoroughly, pop them into the oven on a really low temperature. In they go. Just about 100, like that, 100 degrees. And the reason for doing that is to dry them without using a tea towel so there's no risk of any germs getting inside the jar and that will make them sterile. Now, back to the jam. Okay, there are my washed damsons. I'm now going to put them on the heat and add my water. Put them on a low heat until they start to soften. And now, on to the next stage. Okay, as you can see, the water has come to a boil and has softened the damsons. Now, it's really important to turn the, uh, the hob down to a simmer now, and we will add the sugar. All the sugar, in it goes, some recipes tell you to warm the sugar. There's no need to do that. Now, all of this sugar has to dissolve before you boil it. So you need to stir, stir it round, making sure that it's dissolved. If there are grains, on the back of the spoon, it's not dissolved. So really gently and slowly dissolve the sugar. Okay, the sugar has now dissolved. As you can see, the back of the spoon has got no sugar grains on it. That's taken about five minutes to gently dissolve. Now you can turn the sugar, the jam, right up. Turn the heat right up and start to bring it to a boil. Meanwhile, I would like you to take two uh, small plates like this, and put them in the fridge. This will make the plates really nice and cold and will help you test to see if the jam sets which I will show you in a minute. Okay, the jam is now coming up to the boil. So turn it down and simmer for about 10 minutes. Right down, turn it down to simmer for 10 minutes. You may find that while it's simmering, a little bit of foam uh, appears on the top. That's absolutely normal just to get a little 
spoon and just remove it like that and carry on keeping an eye on the jam giving it a little stir every now and again this should take about 10 minutes in all okay I put a little bit of the jam on my cold plate this is about 10 minutes after it's been simmering away and I'm going to push it with my finger to see if there's any wrinkle and hopefully you can see there isn't a wrinkle yet there's no wrinkle there which means it's not ready so I'm going to carry on simmering it like this for another five minutes and then I will test it again okay another five or ten minutes has passed I put a bit more jam on another cold plate and let's have a go now and see if there's a wrinkle yep that's lovely and you can see that the there's a line there the jam's not uh, coming back together there's a, a line going all the way through that's staying there which means the jam is ready yum 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 Now, if you'd like to come and have a look at the jam, on the top of this gorgeous jam, you can see that the stones from the middle have all come to the surface. If you want to, you can use a slotted spoon and scoop them out. But I prefer to use my colander. I'm going to ladle the jam into the colander. It's got nice big holes so all the jam will fall through. Like so. And you'll be left with the stones in the colander. And then it will be ready to put into the pots. On to the next stage. The jam's ready to put in the jars. Here they are, nice and warm from the oven. The jam is still lovely and hot. And I have got a jam funnel here. You don't necessarily need one. You can just carefully pour it in from the jug. But I am going to use my ladle and pour it into the jar, right to the top. Like so. And then you take a disc. This is a, a, a jam disc. One side is very, uh, very smooth. The other side is slightly waxy. You put it so that the waxy side is down. You pop it on top of the jar like that. Push it down like that and get your nice warm lid and screw that on and there you have one pot of jam and then you just carry on with the rest so there's the jam in the pots all done there's a little bit extra left over so please if you like it then please like me and comment and I will then come back and show you a delicious shortbread recipe with a layer of this delicious jam in the middle. And um, believe me, it's worth it. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mom? Mom? Oh, that looks nice. Oh, it's amazing.